<sighs> I'm definitely gonna get hate for this video. Can you see the, yeah, we're gonna ignore that little pile of mess over there. And we're gonna talk about a few things today. Kind of the overarching theme of this video is how people respond to criticism, especially based off of where it's coming from or who it's coming from or what gender it's coming from. So a few months ago, I came across a video from a creator called Frumpy Fit. I actually don't know her real name, so I'm so sorry, but she made a whole video talking about Grow With Joe. And I was really excited to see this take because prior to this, I had never seen anyone make a video that was like a little more critical of this creator aside from Harry from Team For Neverlene, who we know that I absolutely love and adore. And I do remember on Harry's video, you know, he, he was like kind of mixed about it. It was like, she's getting people up and moving, but she's kind of clickbaity. And what she says isn't necessarily true, but it is helping people. So what do you guys think? And in the comments, it was mostly either I agree with you or I respectfully disagree because I've gotten great results for my goals by working out with Joe. And that was the majority of the comments in Harry's video. A man who again, I think is fantastic and this is not a dig at him. So then months later, I come across this video from Frumpy Fit and I watched the whole thing and she pretty much made the exact same points. She talked about the clickbait. She talked about how a lot of the claims aren't necessarily backed in science. But then at the end of it, it was just kind of like, if you enjoy working out with her, cause she seems like a really nice and fun person with really unique concepts for her videos, I think that's awesome. <laughs> and the comments. <laughs> Are we surprised? It was the exact opposite. Most of the comments on that video, you're a hater, Joe is amazing, how dare you? Why are you tearing down other women? And I just think it's so interesting with basically the exact two same critiques, people reacted very differently. What do we think the difference was? I just think it's interesting that when a male creator critiques a woman respectfully, it's okay. But when a female creator critiques a woman respectfully, it's not okay. So anyway, that, that's the first little like part of this video. I just think that's very interesting. I'm not gonna play clips from their videos. I will leave them linked down below. You can watch them. You could read the comments. You can tell me what you think. But I actually got to this video pretty fast when it was released from BeFits and I, I hopped into that comment section because honestly, I've never made a video specifically about Joe and like her clickbait because I knew that people wouldn't react very well to it. And I was just like, uh, I, don't, I don't know why I wanna fight this battle. Like this isn't the time. I feel like it's the time now. So we're gonna read my comment and then we're gonna read the replies to the comments. And then I'm gonna tell you why none of you are listening to me. <laughs> okay, we're recording. I have to find my comment. <laughs> So I wrote, thank you. Her marketing is super misleading and problematic. Anytime I've discussed it, people get irate because she's so nice and she means well. That's all fine, but it doesn't give you a free pass to lie to people. Great video. I guess this was only three weeks ago. This feels like 18 years ago. That's how slowly time has been moving. Anyway, it got 16 replies. They aren't great. <laughs> Let's read them. Okay, so Frumpy Fit, what is her name? I don't wanna just keep calling her frumpy. Lena, oh, that's so pretty. Lena said, yeah, I struggle with that too. When I started filming the reaction that didn't get posted, my first impression was that she seemed so nice and well-meaning. She talks about how she watched the video beforehand. Like she didn't film her like in the moment raw reaction. I can totally see why people love her, but we can't ignore the people who may not realize the thumbnails and titles are totally incorrect and misleading in some cases. That's the thing because people, if you go through these comments, I'm not gonna read all of them, but like if you go through these comments, you're gonna see all of these people praising how nice Joe is, praising the results that they got. And the other thing that, there, that I saw a lot of is like, well, people know that this isn't real. People know that this is how you lose weight. People know you can't spot reduce fat. People don't know that. <laughs> Guys, one of the things that I do, well, I tried to do it and then I gave up because it wasn't a good use of my time, but I'm in like these different Facebook groups that are like women's fitness and workout motivation things. And for a while I would like contribute on these platforms answering different women's questions. And I have to tell you, I see every single day questions that are like, what are some exercises to tone up my like arm fat? What are some exercises to lose my love handles? And when I have gone on there and tried to explain that like you can't spot reduce fat because when you're doing resistance training, you're working the muscle fibers and your genetics determine where you lose fat from first. People have 
never heard this before. I am telling you, I am interacting. Like you're, you're coming on here and you're like, people know, people know better. People should know better. It's like, they don't know better. And it's because of things like this. And you can say all that you want, like, well, people should take the time to educate themselves. <sighs> yeah, I agree. But like, we're not doing it in schools. We're not doing it in marketing. We're not doing it with these creators. So where are they supposed to learn it from? Anyway, let's read some of the replies. Oh, this one's nice. My two favorite health and fitness content creators at once. Thank you, Marosa. It gets bad from here. So then there's just a few people saying like, thank you, comment at the same thing, da 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 then it starts going poorly. Mad cause she's more successful than you. Death emoji. And I said, nope, mad because she's preying on women's fears and insecurities. I refuse to do that simply to be more successful. Smiley face. This is my favorite. Okay, basic white girl. Then someone's replying to Lena, you're crazy and the people who follow you, it's never good to be jealous. Someone else, to me, I lost 37 pounds doing Grow With Joe, so IDK why you guys are hating. Someone else, literally, they're jealous, dot, 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 dot. Then here comes more race stuff. Hating on a black queen, how pathetic, do better. Someone else to me, funny when Joe is the most supportive and people like Frumpy and Justina are those who prey on women and would rather they starve than have fun while exercising. So this is the last one I replied to and then all the replies stopped from there. I said, I'd love to hear how educating women on how their bodies actually works equating to preying on women and telling them to starve. Like what? <laughs> Instead of tricking people into movement, I educate them. I don't care how nice someone is. Her clickbait is problematic and simply inaccurate, period. So to recap, I went on there and said, yes, she's nice. Yes, people enjoy her workouts, but she's making inadequate inaccurate claims that mislead people and lie to people. And personally, I don't think that that is worth gaining followers or even getting people to move. Like I personally, it's not a tactic that I would use. And people came back and said, her workouts work, you're a hater, you're a basic white girl, you're racist, da 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 da. So I'm saying the information she's giving to you is inaccurate and you're just hurling insults at me. So the only thing I have to say to you is that you're not listening. People are so quick to jump down other women's throats saying that you're tearing down strong, powerful, capable women to make yourself look better. But what I don't understand is that why is it okay for a woman to lie to you just because it helps you lose weight just because, I don't know, you like her music choices because it's like free workouts. Like I don't understand why that's okay. And then I don't understand why it's not okay when I call them out for it or when another woman calls them out for it. I understand that she has a larger following. She has a lot more reach. I know that her content is motivating. It's fun. She has helped probably like thousands and thousands and thousands of women. And I think that's incredible. And again, I am not attacking her character. I'm not saying that she's a bad person, but we do have to acknowledge that she got to where she is by lying to you. And that's not opinion, that is fact. This, this is a lie. And you've clicked on it to get said result. It's not how the body works. And personally, I am not okay with that marketing tactic. I am not okay as that being a pillar of someone's business when you're trying to help people. I don't think it's okay to lie to people to help them because also what you're doing is you're making them, you're making them like they need you then, right? Like I'm trying to educate people. I don't want people to feel like they need to be tethered to me for life. To, to be healthy. Like I wanna give you the tools so then you can like graduate and like flap your wings and like do it for yourself. Look, I would just rather take the long route to grow and be a good coach rather than lie to people. And I think that's the difference, right? Like I'm not an influencer, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm a coach. I work one-on-one -on -one with real humans every single day. I hear their problems. I hear that they are interested in learning how their body works. They wanna be included in the process. They don't just wanna be scared or lied to or sold this bullshit. So those are my thoughts. <laughs> and always remember guys, like, I am always continuing to learn. I have made plenty of mistakes along the way, but as those mistakes have been pointed out to me, I've adjusted and I've grown and I've learned. And I think that there's something to be said, especially when we have, we have so much information now. We have so much information now on how different tactics with health and wellness affect us on a mental health level. There's so much to be said about a person when you ignore that just to simply continue to make money and grow your business. So to wrap it all up, just 
because someone seems really, really nice doesn't mean it's okay that they lie to you. Ha! <sighs> the comment section is gonna be wild, so you, why don't you pop down there and uh, let me know how you feel. Remember that you are entitled to your own opinion and this is not a black and white situation necessarily. So talk it out down there. Let me know what you think. This is simply where I draw the line in the sand. I, I just, I won't. I won't lie to you guys. Think that that's a pretty simple thing to ask of people. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos and I will see you all in the next one.